When we do acts of merit, the Buddha says it's a form of happiness. It's the direct answer to that question, what when I do it will lead to my long-term welfare and happiness. We be generous, observe the precepts to be virtuous, and develop good qualities in the mind through meditating. When you do these things regularly, you begin to realize that this is where real happiness lies. We're all too often swept away by the pleasures of other things, especially now that we have distractions all around. We carry distractions in our pocket. We carry distractions in our knapsack, in other words, the, all the screens that we have. And the pleasure that comes from being with a screen makes us forget that the real pleasures in life come from the good that we do. So we have to remember that goodness is something that comes from within. Happiness is something that comes from within. So we're not constantly outside looking outside for our pleasures. Because the world gives pleasure sometimes, but sometimes it doesn't give pleasure. A lot of painful things happen in the world. But we want to be able to live in the world and not be pained by them. That's why we develop goodness inside, because that becomes our our refuge, that becomes our source of strength, that becomes our nourishment. So always keep this point in mind, that the goodness of the world, the happiness of the world, is something you can look for within. And then when you developed inside, then you can share it with others. This is the best kind of sharing there is. I mean, you can share information on screens, but the goodness of life comes from the qualities you develop in your mind. And that's shared in a different way. It's shared through direct contact, or sometimes just through the, the currents of the mind. Sometimes you're sitting here meditating, you spread thoughts of goodwill to someone else, and if they're receptive, they'll know. It'll make them feel good to know what someone's thinking of them. And even if they're not receptive, you're spreading, you're broadcasting goodness outside. This is how the world is made into a better place, by taking the resources you have inside and developing them as fully as possible. And then when they're developed, you'll have more than enough to share. So your attitude toward the world isn't that you're always taking and taking and taking, because as long as we're feeding, there's going to have to be some taking. But you want to make sure that you pay back in terms of the goodness that you spread around to the qualities of the mind. <laughs>